guys, I went to high school in the 90s, like 80s and 90s. Do you understand how many jam songs there were? Saying I love you is not the words I want to hear from you. Song that makes you think of your wife. Well, uh, I've written a couple, but that feels incredibly narcissistic to say that my own songs make me think of my wife. So this was one that uh, when we were uh, dating and talking about getting engaged, um, I, I made her, well, I didn't make mixed tapes. I made them like a, I burned a CD. And, uh, and then I'd have like a playlist on my iPod, you know, and this song always, it just reminded me of her. So, uh. Alabama, Arkansas, I should love my mom and pa, not the way that I do love you. Well, holy moly, me oh my, you're the apple of my eye. Girl, I've never loved one more like you. Oh, home, let me go home. Home is wherever I'm with you. Oh, home, let me go home. Home is wherever I'm with you. La 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 la, take me home. I forget that part. Honey, I'm coming home. And then. I didn't practice this at all. That's literally, that's why I blew the middle. That song was called Home by Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. Song your kids, okay, I'm gonna change this one because my kids are young. And the question was a song your kids are embarrassed you know. And I think it's more so um, a song of my kids that I'm embarrassed I know. Um, so, uh, I mean, I think probably the, uh, the number one culprit of all parents uh, universally around the world is baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do, mommy shark, do 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 do, mommy shark, do 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 do, mommy shark, do 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 do. Seven years of musical training, ladies and gentlemen, right there, right there. So I would say that definitely that song. Um, song you jammed out to in high school. I mean, guys, I went to high school in the 90s, like 80s and 90s. Do you understand how many jam songs there were? I mean, there's like categories of jam. I mean, there's big hair rock band jam songs, and then there's like grunge jam songs, and, um, and then there's ballads, like all the power ballads that came out there, like uh, saying I love you. Is not the words I want to hear from you. I mean, uh, yeah, more than words was huge. Or like, a, hold on, little girl, show me what he said to you. Yeah, I mean, I, and he sings really high, and I could never sing that high, and my voice cracked all the time. But the chorus is great. I'm the one who wants to be with you. Deep inside, I hope you. That was great, it was great. Um, and then, you know, we had like a, a long, listless breakfast table in an otherwise empty room. A young girl, violins, center of her own attentions were Mother reads aloud, child tries to understand it, tries to keep her proud. Anyways, yeah, the list goes on and on and on. So those are my favorite songs I like jamming out to in high school. I mean, amongst, amongst others, amongst others. Um, 
Song you want played at your funeral. Wow, this is morbid. Incredibly morbid. Um, I, I don't think it's probably appropriate for a, a funeral, but maybe for like a, like a celebration. But uh, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road gets rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed. You just remember what your old pal said, boy, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. It's all up in my head, just rattling around. That's why I can never remember to where my car keys are. Song you would sing for the Pope. Well, this is kind of an inside joke. Um, in, in 2013, uh, I was invited to an event called World Youth Day. It happens every couple of years, and they changed the location. This particular one was in Rio, Brazil, and uh, I was invited to sing uh, part of a like a Saturday night prayer service. And um, there were uh, somewhere between two to three million people were there, uh, and the Pope. And so I sang, um, Lord, I come, I confess, bowing here, I find my rest. Without you, I fall apart. You're the one that guides my heart. Lord, I need you, oh, I need you, every hour I need you, my one defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you. Very special moment. Um. Stuff like that, you know, you, you don't think about that when you write a song, but then every time you sing that song now, all those memories can just randomly come back. Um, something else that could come back too is, did I forget to unplug the iron? Um, my current single, um, uh, uh, I wrote Alive and Breathing like a, over a year ago, way before all the events of COVID and stuff happened. And so it's always... Um, you know, writing a song and using words and then all of a sudden the words take on a different meaning. And I, that happens a lot for songwriters and artists. You know, we don't, you can't think of every scenario where a song is going to uh, impact somebody. But I think that just shows the power of music and how um, God can use songs to speak to people. But uh, well, hold your heart, we'll stir your soul. When matters come to mind The cares you keep The thoughts you think It's not a wasted time Speaking you will find Joy still comes in the morning Hope still walks with the hurting. If you're still alive and breathing, praise the Lord. Don't stop dancing and dreaming. There's still good news worth repeating. So lift your head and keep singing. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's loud. It's loud. I'm loud. I'm sorry. I'm so loud. I'm sorry. I'm so loud. Song I wish I wrote. Man, we could be here all day. Um, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I really do. I mean, I think I, I heard it earlier, so it comes to my mind. And because uh, I think every day when you're a musician, if you listen to music, you hear a song, and you're like, man, I wish I wrote that. But country road, take me home to the place. I belong West Virginia Mountain Mama 
take me home, country roads. Yeah, I would see that, that that's definitely up there. John Denver is just amazing. Song that always gets stuck inside your head. Um, this feels kind of on the nose, but um, uh, this song's gonna get stuck inside you. This song's gonna get stuck inside you. This song's gonna get stuck inside your head. This song's gonna get stuck inside you. This song's gonna get stuck inside you. This song's gonna get stuck inside your head. I mean, I didn't even, I hadn't even seen the second Lego movie. I was on the road and I got home and my kids were singing this chorus, this song's gonna get stuck inside your head. And I was like, that's no fair. Cause I actually wrote a chorus and a lyric that's telling you what's about to happen. It's, it's like they're incepting it inside of your brain. That's not fair. Uh, favorite TV show theme song. Wow. Um, I mean, all my favorite TV show theme songs were instrumentals because growing up, I just played piano. I didn't sing. And so, uh, like the theme for MacGyver. Or uh, A Team. Um, that was that was it and then um and then i think later on probably the theme from full house but i never learned all the words so it was always the thing of like um like everywhere you look ev there's a smile you can hold on to everywhere you look and then i was like when you're on and all alone there's waiting to carry you home everywhere you look. Bo doom 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 doom. Ah, man, standing down. Shoo da ba ba da. Gosh, why is this all in my head? <laughs> all right, last question. Favorite go-to karaoke song? Well, just so happens that I was the Midwestern regional. No, I wasn't. I was gonna say Midwestern <laughs> regional karaoke champion. Sing along if you know it. Where it began, I can't begin to know it, but then I know it's growing strong. Was in the spring, oh, and the spring became the summer. Who'd ever thought you'd come along? This is not to do during coronavirus. Hands touching hands, reaching out, touching you. Touching me, sweet Caroline. Good times never seem so good. So good, so good, so good. I've been inclined to believe they never would, but now I. Right there that was fun i'm glad we did that man it's funny you sing a song like that and talks about hands touching hands you're like all of a sudden you're like wow apparently the six past six months taught me how unsanitary we have been <laughs> <laughs>